Hey everyone, if you all are looking for the filter like this in Rectifier, then this is the video for you. You will get the answer of your question, what is the need of filter in Rectifier? And there is some more information about performance of each filter. I will share this detail in this video. So watch this video till the end. Hello and, wel Hello and welcome to another video on video lecture series of Multisim Tutorial. In today's session, we are going to know the need of the filter in Rectifier. So without wasting time, let's get started. There are various types of filter. Let me show you that. Filter like this, like this, like this, like this. These are the different types of filters, right? But a common question arises in your mind that what is the need of this filter? And the question is absolutely correct. So before jumping into this question's answer, let me ask you another question. And the question is, when you hear this word filter, what comes into your mind? And whatever comes into your mind that you need to write into comment section below, right? So you will get all the answers from different learners across the globe and you will be able to read the comments of all the global community. So I'd request everybody to answer this question. What comes into your mind when you heard this filter word? Let me tell you generally what happens when we hear this filter, something comes in our mind like a water filter which purifies water or an air filter which purifies air, right? So basically this filter word has something to do. It means it removes something unwanted from a medium. For example, water filter removes unwanted particle from water and gives us pure water. Air filter removes unwanted particle from air and gives us pure air, right? So here, when we talk about the filter of rectifier, what do we want? We want a pure DC supply. And what this filter does, it removes unwanted particles or unwanted thing from the DC supply and gives us a pure DC supply. Let me write this thing in this manner. At our home, we have mobile phones, laptops, and so many other equipments which needs to be charged, right? And to charge those devices, what do we require? We require to give a pure DC supply to the battery of that device, right? So the requirement of all these devices is pure DC, correct? Now, to get DC supply, we all are aware that to get a DC supply, we need to use a rectifier. So, this is our rectifier. Right? So, we have our rectifier. At input side, we have AC supply. Let's say this is pure AC supply. So, at pure AC supply, our input is like this right alternating in quantity now at the output of this rectifier at this point our output is like this and this output is pulsating dc it is not pure dc right so we can call it as it is pure ac it is dc but with some component of ac so dc plus ac and then we require at a final stage a pure DC. So what does this filter do? 
it converts this pulsating DC into pure DC. And this pure DC looks like this. So this is a pure DC supply, right? So we can call it this filter. This is our filter, right? So what does this filter does? It removes unwanted supply or unwanted component of AC from this DC and gives us pure DC supply. This pulses in DC is also known as ripple. So the aim or the need of the filter is to remove the ripple from the output of rectifier and gives us a pure DC supply. So this is the use of filter. Now let me tell you one more thing that we are heading towards the end of this video. But there is still something important and useful for you. And that useful thing is the next video in this series is explanation of each filter with simulation. Right? I am going to simulate each of these filters. Right? There are basically four types of filters. The first is capacitor filter, then inductor filter, then LC filter and then pi filter. What I am going to do is, I am going to simulate all these four types of filters and we are going to change the values of the capacitor and inductor and we will observe that what is the effect of changing in value of capacitor and inductor into the output waveform of voltage as well as current. So we will see this simulation as well as analysis in our upcoming videos. So I request everybody to go through those videos. right? I will provide the link of all these videos in down in description box. So before ending this video, I want to ask you a one question, a very simple question. Now you all tell me, why do we need a filter in rectifier? Please write the answer of this question in comment section below. Before you jump to write the answer, there is still many things about the filters that you can know. And one of them is how to design the filter for rectifier. And if you are interested to know those things, the calculation behind that, then please write in comment section that we want to know how to design filter for rectifier. If I got 50 plus comment like this, then I am going to make a detailed video on designing of rectifier. And then I will simulate those things and show it to you. Right? So before jumping to some another video, don't forget to answer the question.